My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted, they trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued, in you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me, they make mouths at me, they wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord, let the Lord deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me to trust you at my mother's breast. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaw. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me, a company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O oh, you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. Lord Jesus, Lamb of the Father's own choosing, who offered yourself a bloody sacrifice for our sins on the place of skulls, receive our thanks for your love beyond all measure. Let your wounds be the solace of our hearts and your merits the ornaments of our souls in life and death, that with your perfected saints on high we may forever sing your praise. Amen. I will tell of your name to my brothers, in the midst of the congregation I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. You offspring of Jacob, glorify him. And stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden his face from them, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nation shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. 
all the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. Merciful and kind are you, O Lord of hosts, because you have sent the gospel of your Son to us Gentiles. Our fathers went to worship idols as they were led, but to us, their children, you have sent the light, though we deserved it not. Cause it to dwell richly with our children and us, and by your Spirit make it grow in our hearts and bring fruit unto eternal life. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning?